For me drop it down low upon the floor, yeah, that's what you prefer. Put your money where your mouth upon there, yeah, that's what me prefer. Set it, pick up, set it, pick up, so with me, set it, you have it, pick up, so with me, set it, you have it. Pico. Wow, that is beautiful. What's <laughs> up? What's you. up? You're good. Thank you. <laughs> this is Dinacos. Now, I want to read you some things that she has been able to achieve over the last, I think, one month, right? Set It is one of the biggest songs, actually, the biggest song in the country right now, as you speak. It is Diana Chords featuring, um, the name is from Brooklyn Boys. AJ Brooklyn Boys. AJ Brooklyn yeah. Boys. Now, that song is the most searched song on Boomplay, as you speak right now. It's the number one song on Spotify in the country right now. The number one song on Apple Music, as you speak right now. The most searched song on Shazam. Check that out. It has a million views on YouTube, as you speak right now. The number three trending song on YouTube in Kenya. And also the number one trending challenge on TikTok. That is set it down by this beautiful young woman right here. And today we caught up with her at her studio in Nairobi's Omoja Estate. Just to get to know the brains behind the creation of these super hits. And what it feels to really have such a big song carrying all the country and what also is the next steps for this big superstar who is imagined and taking over the airways my name is kabuga and this is citizen digital so is it diana codes is it diana codes jinaiko in a term um so it's diana codes mm -hmm. but you know when the first song i did with wakadina lives mm -hmm. so we say that couldn't spell Diana, mm -hmm. so you <laughs> spell as Diana. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So I went on with that. But it's Diana. But it's Diana, yeah. Okay. Is, 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 is that your name? Is that yeah. is Diana actually your name? name? Yeah. And, and, and codes, yeah. codes in Ibe talk about codes. Where's codes from? Mm, it's from, it's, it's my surname. It's okay. from my parents. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Are you Kenyan? What, what is interesting actually, and a lot of people viewing this mm -hmm. will agree with me, a lot of people are saying they were shocked that you are actually a Kenyan. I mean, you you, you know, it's a very Jamaican vibe in that yeah. song. It's a very Caribbean vibe in that song. Mm -hmm. Which is your story? Where were you born? Where were you brought up? Guys, I'm, I'm Kenyan. Mm -hmm. I'm Kenyan. I'm from Nyanza Kisumu. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as I started doing music, I love the Caribbean vibe. Mm -hmm. I, I listen to so many genres, the limit to Kenyan music. Mm -hmm. So that also made me like, try that more and i felt comfortable with the dance hall, so i decided to make that my sound so i mm -hmm. think that's why people confuse me a bit and, and, and they're wondering whether you're kenyan because a lot yeah. of people knew you through set it really yeah I, 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 yeah a lot of people including <laughs> my cameraman here i, think mm -hmm. you through set it, I huh? guess but you've done a lot of projects you know yeah. a lot of songs you even have albums yeah tell us about your musical journey because a lot of people might want to know who mm -hmm. you really are yeah mm -hmm. So immediately after I finished high school, I started doing music. I have like four albums so far. So I've Whoa, a lot, that's a lot of albums, a actually. Lot, a wow. lot of albums okay. before okay. people got to new music mm -hmm. set it. So mm -hmm. I have so much catalog going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. But you know, this was the one that mm -hmm. brought me to so many people, and I'm grateful. Okay. Yeah. You are, how would you describe you, 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 your music? How would you describe you know, yourself, mm -hmm. your sound? Mm -hmm. What is your sound? My sound. Mm -hmm. that, that's a this, uh, shout out to shout out to Kashi Lego. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's shout also out. a rapper. Yeah. Shout out, right? Yeah. She made me know you in 2022. Ooh, she used to listen to you like who do they my banana yeah. chords? Yeah. No, she really oh, did yeah. actually. You know, she lives yeah. I'm a talk of Thika, Uko, shout out Thika. So yeah. she knew you, she listened yeah. to your music and you and Wakadinali. Yeah. So every time we used to hang out with her, it was yeah. you. Uh -huh. But now you were doing drill yeah drill yeah. music mm -hmm. so are you a hip-hop artist are you a drill are you are you are you are you a reggae artist what are you i started mm -hmm. out as a oh, singer okay but you know what i was singing is so much of international taylor swift mm -hmm. and she's and that was what i was ah, listening to uh, okay, okay yeah so that's where i got my international vibe mm -hmm, from you mm -hmm, know mm -hmm. but when i got signed by the Zosa Nation, mm -hmm. which was formed by Ska, Mungawa, mm -hmm. Cardinali. Mm -hmm. They had my 
vibe and they're like you you sound good mm-hmm. yeah but you're not marketable to the kenyan market yeah, yeah. so i had to kenyanize your sound kenyanize my yes, sound yes, exactly yes. i had uh-huh. to start rapping i had mm-hmm. to start listening to kenyan and i found so many kenyan good kenyan artists mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. it just camouflaged into that mm-hmm. in the midst of me kenyanizing everything it mm-hmm. just it became an international yourself, yeah. Kenyan sound. You know, that's <laughs> what we all want. We want Kenyan mm. music to be so international. Evoke border, kidogo. Evoke border, exactly. So, so you're saying you are trying all kinds of sounds at this point? Yeah. Are you trying all kinds of sounds? All of them. They, you wouldn't really say I'm boxing myself into this particular no, sound. No, no, never. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about Set It. Yeah. It's a big song. Oh, thank big you. song. It's beautiful. I love it, man. I love it so much. <laughs> What is the creation? What, what is the creation process mm. behind the song? Did he call you? Did you sit down and write it? Mm. So you know, I usually you? record at Big Beat. So mm-hmm. at that moment, I was at the studio. You record at what? Big Beat Studio, yeah. which is here. Oh, where we are. Yeah, okay. where we are. Okay. okay. And at 66, the mm-hmm. baddest producer right now. Mm-hmm. So I had the. I was at the studio and mm-hmm. I played a beat and I had it and yo yo Ilingia too yo, I, I, I know I can't even see, but I couldn't sit for that and mm-hmm. I was like this is the one mm-hmm. I wrote for it immediately mm-hmm. I stayed with it for like two months before oh, I, yeah, for real? yeah wow uh-huh. before I got AJ to like jump on to yeah, it yeah, yeah yeah and then now you texted AJ told him I have some song here I'd yeah love yeah to I had told him Let, let's do something but mm-hmm. I forgot about it mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. at some point of working on on set it mm-hmm. i posted it on my social media mm-hmm. just like teasing it and, and then he, he yeah he hollered at me like oh, you had to send me the yeah, chat i sent yeah, him that chat yeah. he had it and he was like okay i'll give you a feedback tomorrow Ooh. the next day he had sent the verse wow yeah okay so when did you release it uh it was about three weeks ago that's july last month mm-hmm. and you know it stayed there for like nine days doing nothing a hundred uh, then <laughs> But stay there, what do you mean? There, where? Like on, 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 online, on, on platforms. streams. It mm-hmm. was just there, nobody was doing much. Like mm-hmm. it wasn't gathering any traction. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, it's just, I think, Diaso and Ramu, the TikTokers, mm-hmm. and they did the most, man. They they, oh, oh. they used the track and it just went viral. Like yeah. a blow up. Yeah. So would you credit, would you credit the TikTokers you're talking about? What? Oh, what? Gosh. Diaso? There's Diaso, there's Ramo, mm-hmm. there's Papi Roman. Those three, they, okay. they, I feel like we, they need so much credit for the songs that go viral on TikTok. Mm-hmm. You know, I wish we could do so much mm-hmm. more for them. So would you credit them for the song? Definitely. Boeing, that it's all them. I did. Mm-hmm. N- it was doing nothing until they hopped onto it. Mm-hmm. So I, I really, really appreciate and I give a big shout out to all of them. The song has gone super viral yeah. all across the country. Yeah. We are loving it. Everybody's loving it. Mm-hmm. You. How does that make you feel? It's unbelievable. Mm. It, it's still not registering. I'm still in the process of. Is mm. it? Is it? Is it a joke? Is, is it? it real? Yeah, I'm mm. still there. Mm. Yeah. And, and of course, you producers have seen it. AJ has seen it. Yeah. What is his reaction, by the way? <laughs> the producers also want to say my they, they didn't expect. Mm. We all didn't expect that. Yeah, we expected it to be just a regular. Try, try. It's trying to be hard. We didn't expect it to be this big. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And, and and here we are. And here we so are. So what would you say is is something you've probably been able to achieve with a song success so far? Mm-hmm. Is there anything probably you've been able? Maybe there's a door that opened, a client that came along, a big show that you got invited to, or is that something that you're working towards? Oh yes, you guys coming here, everything, sure. everyone. Everyone is calling, everyone is seeing you now because be, to be honest, at the end of the day, we've been working so hard to get this exposure. So, because it's really hard to push yourself to and go uh, to media tours, yeah. people don't they don't know you mm-hmm. and you want to be interviewed. And now, we are looking for and now you. yeah, that's that's the thing, everything mm-hmm. changes, you know. Now it's people looking for you, like before that, it was you begging, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, for them, <laughs> begging for them. Sometimes they won't even allow you to, be yeah, on yeah. The platform. So that's changed. Okay. Yeah. So when me said it, you have to pick up. When me said it, you have to pick up. When me said it, you have to pick up. So when me said it, you have to pick up. Kuli kuli kwa nambu tano kidogo because mm-hmm. according to I don't know the the, the, major, the major side for me one in Aziad Nasenya who really made Utawezana very popular on Definitely. TikTok. 
there were questions of would you pay N- uh, Aziad? Mm-hmm. And then this, some of the artists were saying, no, it was our song. If we didn't do the song, mm-hmm. Aziad would never have, you know. Mm-hmm. So would there be an issue between you and the TikTokers making your song popular? Mm-hmm. Would you ever consider, you know, or Shia Kakitu? Oh, definitely. How would you How view that kind of you know, situation. I understand like where the, the, the whole disagreement was coming from because mm-hmm. you know the artists feel like we already did our part Yes. and also the tiktokers for them doing that song it's a boost to their career already mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so I, I get that part but there's also that appreci- appreciation because mm-hmm. at the end of the day they made if it. Asia didn't do that tiktok dance it mm-hmm. wouldn't have been as big as it was it was a good song mm-hmm. yeah but Asia had made it big. So if Asia had came and asked me to give her a tip, yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Mm-hmm. Even even without her asking. Mm-hmm. So I feel like even <laughs> yeah, I know you don't want to get into the politics. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, yeah. You know, everyone was right at that time. But mm-hmm. you know, I feel like at the end of the day the TikTokers really they need to be boosted. They or need to be something. yeah, they need to be boosted. So you agree with that, right? I agree with that. So yeah. before set it, yeah. there was you. So yeah. uh, there was you and you've done quite a number of projects, like yeah. you said, four albums. Yeah. Every album has probably like 10 songs or something. Yeah. Almost every album has 10 songs. So we're talking of 40 songs. Yeah. How many songs do you have under your belt oh so far? Oh my gosh, so I more just, than 100. Wow, so many, yeah, uh-huh. so many. Uh, I, I know women don't talk about this, but how, how old are you? Yeah, uh-huh. if, you if, if you don't mind. I guess. You've done a lot. <laughs> I mean, you've done a lot. I mean, mm-hmm. and uh, you're a young woman. Let's just say I'm under 25. Okay, yeah. quite a young woman, actually. <laughs> and, and, and and coming up has not been easy for you. Mm-hmm. Has it been easy for you just trying to position yourself in the industry? It's, it's hard, it's ups and downs. How, how would you describe how tough it has been for you, as a woman especially? Mm, it's, it's, been, it's been quite... As a woman, I feel like it's much easier, mm-hmm. honestly. Oh, really? Compared to as a, as a guy. Because okay. as a guy, yo, hey, this guy is getting tough. Yeah. The, in the industry, if you're a woman, it's we, are, we are very, we are very little, you know, no, so no. for you to be a woman in the mm-hmm. industry, it's mm-hmm. like a direct pass through. Now it's mm-hmm. now determining the real pass through from the fake. That's the hard part. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, there are people who are not there to really help you. And there are, there and there are people take who advantage are, of you. Yeah, so that's now what that's, I was going to talk about. Yeah. We've had these stories, we've written about these stories a lot. Mm-hmm. A lot of music executives, even mm-hmm. in this country, mm-hmm. take advantage of young female singers yeah. who are looking for fame and, yeah, you know. Yeah, definitely. Have you, been, have you ever been through <laughs> situations where you thought, this man are trying to take advantage of, of course, me, sexually, of romantically, course. whatever. You know, but you just have to have your, yo, you, you gotta have your stand mm-hmm. everywhere you go, you know. People say that women, like, are not respected, but I feel like it's also the way we carry ourselves. Some, 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 most of the women don't have that stand because we really want to get to where we want to get. But at the end of the day, you have to realize that there's a right way through it and if you work hard, mm-hmm. if you keep at it, people are going to respect you regardless, you know, you don't have to use that way. I like that, yeah. I like that, sounds yeah. very brilliant. Mm-hmm. Now, you are a female rapper, mm-hmm. female singer in mm-hmm. Kenya, and of course, would you call yourself upcoming? I don't want to, I don't want to brand you that. <laughs> what is that digital coming? I mean, I don't know. Right now, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know. It's yeah, crazy. you're bubbling. I mean, I, I would say you're bubbling under. I think so, bubbling yeah. Bubbling under, right? Because you're not really there. I'm not really there, you're but right I'm there. trying to be there. You're right there. Yeah. Are there any rappers currently, female mm-hmm. rappers, singers that you're looking at and you like, I really admire how they do their thing yeah, definitely. in this country? Maybe yeah. you want to mention some yeah, things? Yeah, Graf is doing the most. He's not female. I said female. Oh, female. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? But you know what? We can go with male as well. <laughs> yeah. Let's cal- go with male as well. Calligraph for okay. male and for female. Femiwa is doing the most. Just, just, you don't have any other passion besides. Calligraph, there's mm. Wakadinali, yeah. there's who oh, is so much. And this new Abanton rappers yes. are doing the, the most. All you of know, them, all of them. G- the, all oh, yeah, all of them. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. and the females, we have Femi. We have Mandy, we have Saru, mm-hmm. we have me, yeah. so many female rappers. We have what's her name? I love to shout it out to yourself. Yeah, it's me. I know, right? Thank you. <laughs> so you, 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 they're doing a good job, but, but is there anybody you're looking at and you're thinking, I would love to work with this particular person in the near future? In Kenya? Or even tomorrow, yeah, in Kenya. We're going to talk internationally after this. So many. Oh, Maybe two names. Yeah. Someone you really want to go into the studio with. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We all want to go to the studio with. Yeah, stupid boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
And I'm gonna studio on a stupid boy. Are you serious? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Clearly, yeah. He, ha- he has a oh, sti- stupid boy, then the Steve or Simple. What do you think of Steve or Simple? Ah, no, man. Stupid boy is using Steve for clout, man. Oh, you wouldn't like, go to the Steve. St- I would, but. <laughs> I okay. just, ah, man, okay. shout out to Steve Boy, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Steve Boy has survived the Gengeton, like, era, like, longer than all of those Gengeton artists we thought would survive. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> so, well, who internationally are you looking at and you're like, I really admire how they do their thing. I'd love to hop into the bull event sometime, mm. you know, drop something with them. Who are you looking oh, at? Oh, in right Africa, now? first of all, mm. Tyler, there's mm. Aisha, there's. Mm. Bada boy, Davido. I don't know why you guys have to give us the same names I would expect. You don't have like that hidden gem artist. You know that kind of artist, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not yeah. Nikki, not, not Hardy. Oh, like there's that there's that person. I don't know. It's it's the same people. It's the same people. It's, the right? same, it's always the same people. Because I would expect you to tell me someone completely different and I'm like, who is that? Oh, no. But you tell me this. Okay. It's the same people. Okay. You really admire okay. Cool. Uh, Doja Cat internationally. Yeah. I love Doja. Okay. Jake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what would you say is your biggest moment so far as Dana Cause maybe performance wise, mm-hmm. collabo wise? Music wise, I mean, what, what what was your biggest moment as a as, as an artist? It doesn't have to be so big, but it made an impact in your life. Oh, my biggest moment mm-hmm, as an artist. Probably right now. Mm-hmm. All, okay. the, all those other moments are just low key. Mm-hmm. This this is my biggest moment, and I feel like mm-hmm. there are bigger moments than this. I feel like I haven't there are, felt there are, that big yes. moment yet. Yes. I haven't felt it yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There are moments. You have already shot a video for Set It, right? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Coming out Doing today good. or tomorrow. Eh? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's not yet out. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna be out yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, so. Yeah. So, uh, wow. more projects are coming. What next for okay. this amazing superstar? There's an EP coming soon, guys. Mm-hmm. As soon as probably next month. Yeah, so we're working. We're working. You have an album. Uh, yeah. so it's called the wrong something. Wrong manners. Wrong manners. Yeah. Tell us about the album and where can we find it? What kind of songs can we expect in that album? Okay, so it's my my third studio album titled Wrong Manners, and it's wrong as it's titled. Mm-hmm. So many artists have been featured to inside our so many beautiful artists, and um, it's it's. It's just me jumping into urban to a new era. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I feel like it gave me a boost and people saw me jump out of my comfort zone because people knew me for drill. Mm-hmm. So wrong manners just took me out of my comfort zone. And you can get it on Spotify, all streaming platforms, wrong manners. They are not you can find me on all streaming or no or not all streaming platforms on all social media platforms at Diana Codes. That's D Y A N A dot C O D S. Yeah. Uh, but, but before we wrap up, um, I'm mm-hmm. gonna ask about Avant. I was gonna ask this actually yeah, before yeah. it slip my mind. Uh-huh. I want your honest opinion. Uh-huh. A very honest opinion. <laughs> Do you think there's a future for Abanto? Mm-hmm. How far are we going with this? Are we going to be talking about Abanto next year at a time like this? I feel like, you know, this Kenya, our, our genre is always going to be Gengeton. Mm-hmm. Abanto is just a wave within Gengeton. Yeah, so it's always, it's always changed. Gengeton always changes. There was that thing that like, you know, Chucks were doing back mm-hmm. then. Mm-hmm. It's always, be, but it's the biggest sound mm-hmm. from Kenya. It's mm-hmm. just that it's going to keep changing. So Abanton is just, evolving. yeah, it's going to keep evolving. So, so something else will come after Abanton. Definitely, but within the same genre. Within the same genre. Right? Yeah, right? yeah. Two more questions. Mm-hmm. Do you always speak like this? I find you like a very interesting speaker. Really? You're very chill. Like, no. Do you always speak like this? Yeah, definitely. Is this, is this, is this a personality or this is really you. This, this is oh, I'm, I'm so because you're really zoned out. I'm so chill. I'm such a chill show, guys. Okay. But you know when I step in the booth, mm-hmm. it's it's different. It's something you just light up. I light like up. That. Yeah. But I love the vibe though. Thank you. I really, really love the vibe you. actually. And I know the guys are asking come DM. Eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the guy behind the camera is literally asking me to ask you that. <laughs> Are you seeing somebody? I'm a, you're busy with the music. Don't lie to me. Oh, I've, been, I've been busy with my music. Are you sure? I am well, lie. I've been, I've, I've been busy looking for money for my future husband. Mm. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, could be, could be. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not seeing anywhere right now? No, no. Okay. Yeah. Is there anybody probably you're looking at right now in the industry you're thinking of love oh, to? Oh hell no! Nah. To go on a date with? Mm, I don't want to just like guys from the industry. Mm-hmm. I, I like another breed. But to work on a different The Last fun question. Mm-hmm. 
one person you'd love to meet, dead or alive, who would that be? Jesus. Oh, come on. <laughs> Obvious answer. Anybody else? Jesus Ooh. Christ. Ooh. You will meet Jesus because you're born again. Okay, you're not born again, but you're born again. <laughs> one person, dead or alive, you'd love to meet. I would, I would say Bob Marley. Ooh. I would say Bob Marley. Okay, that's do you have, nice. Do you have, yeah, do you have like somebody dead or alive you'd love to meet in this world? In this world, that's an interesting I know, question. I right? I'm trying to trick your mind. I think... They have somebody. Pablo. Who Pablo is that? Escobar. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd like to meet that's Pablo. That's why I thought you were right. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo is this... But he was that guy. He, yeah, he was a different... Like, he was, he's very interesting because he has... Like, I think the person who has the most documentaries is, is Pablo Escobar, you know, in his 40s or in this, yeah. yeah, and that's probably why you... <laughs> <laughs> you are amazing. Thank you so much, Dana Cords. This is Dana Cords. Check this young woman out. She is blowing up. She is all over the place doing crazy things. She's on social media, all streaming platforms. Her song set it as she just said she never knew it's going to be this big. And man, check it out. Check her out as well and support all her projects. Big girl doing big things in this big country, Kenya. My name is Kabuga and this is Citizen Digital. <laughs>